Hey guys, this is Dallas with all my favorite things from the screen. And I'm giving you my top five favorite scenes from season two of Only Murders in the Building. I hope you enjoy and please share your favorite scenes down below. The question of why Bunny was wearing a tie-dye hood, everyone was wondering, and it came in a very endearing scene. For a character who, up until the point, wasn't very likable, we got to see a different side of Bunny that endeared her to us, only to have the trio shut her out from celebrating with them after solving Tim Kono's murder. It was heartbreaking to learn that the trio could have indeed saved Bunny, if only for a night, after we saw she wasn't so bad. Having one of my favorite characters get a love interest, even if I'm unsure about him, was one of the sweetest moments of the season. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've Yoda come to talk lady, with you Yoda, Yoda. Yoda, lady, Yoda, lady. In the candlelit room, learning about each other's dreams and passions, this opens up a building-wide rendition of Simon and Garfunkel's Sound of Silence. From Howard's yodels to Ursula's belting, it was a beautiful way to show the building uniting in a literal dark time. Eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon light that split the night. Touched the sound, sound. The introduction of Lucy was a wild ride. From the reveal of the murder weapon, to a song that's still stuck in my head, an angsty teen was an interesting way to throw a wrench in the dynamic of the trio. It's so cool to meet you. I've heard your podcast, but I usually like listen to it on two times speed, and your voices are so much deeper than I thought. More specifically, Charles and his station in life. But the moment the two were alone, and she talked about how she deeply missed him for eight years, and that no matter who her mother brings into her life, they could never replace Charles the person she saw as the best father figure. Pit, 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 pit. <laughs> Charles is a character who has had a hard upbringing that has left him emotionally scarred. He saw his father as a bad man, a drunk who didn't care for him or his mother, a man who was in and out of jail, and it caused him to have a string of failed relationships and be afraid of confrontation. But upon finding out things about his father that he never knew, this changed everything. All those bad thoughts in his mind disappeared, and he can rest knowing that his father did love him and wanted to be a good father to him, no matter how bad he was at it. This was for him. The man he most wanted to be. A father to his boy. I think this gives Charles a new lease on life, with more ambition not to be so timid and fight for the things he loves. And I can't wait to see how his story arc changes in season three. Before I reveal my favorite moment of season two, here are a few honorable mentions. Is, is that ASL for glitter? That was kind of fun. And tank tops and loving a man like me. She's a angel in flip flops. Peter Potter. Stopping my teardrops. Kisses like pop rocks. And loving a man like me. Peter Potter. Loving a man like me. Peter Potter. I kissed Bunny on the lips. You did what? what? Yeah. It was at a Christmas party, and we were saying goodbye, and we were just going to kiss each other on the cheeks, but we missed, and we were on the lips. And we had had a few eggnogs, so we kind of got into it. And then we just stayed there and uh, sloshed around a little bit. And that's not so bad, right? Can you deal with this, please? Yeah. Do I really have to mention he's the one? Like, I don't fucking know chorus line. <laughs> with how weird things get.
and for my favorite scene of season two, the introduction of Glitter Guy. With a little nugget of C4 and a ton of glitter, the Only Murders crew sets out to capture the person pretending to be Detective Williams. It's a wild juxtaposition to have the trio in a personal crisis. A new episode of Only Murders in the Building makes Mabel look like a crazy person. Oliver not sure if his son is his own and the revelation that Charles was still talking to Jan. Was Charles being so non-confrontational? It was hard for him to break up with her and he still deals with abandonment issues. Mabel was terribly upset with Charles as Jan killed one of her friends and not to mention she attempted to kill everyone in the building. This causes them to miss the mark who we see get a face full of glitter in the background. The introduction of the infamous glitter guy was amazing and my favorite moment of the series and the identity was something I did not see coming. But what are your favorite moments from season two? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the rooftop.